Hello, I'll be showing you how to use your audio interface with Rocksmith 2014 Edition Remastered. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to this page right here. I'll have a link in the description. And we'll want to look down here, and if you ever get stuck along the way, feel free to look through all these instructions to troubleshoot. But first thing you're going to want to do is click on this latest release. And you're going to want to click the .zip file right here. And that will start a download. Once it's downloaded, this will open up over here. Now you want to open another file explorer window and you'll go to your C drive. Go to program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Rocksmith 2014. And you just want to take these three files you downloaded over here and drag and drop them in. Now I already have these files, so if you don't see this, that's perfectly normal. If you do see maybe one file's already in there, that might also be normal, but go ahead and replace if there are any to replace. And that's pretty much step one. Alright, the next thing you're going to want to do is go back to that main page right here, and you're going to want to scroll down, and you're going to want to look for your audio interface that you have. So in my case, I have the Focusrite Scarlet 2nd Generation Solo, this one right here. So now you're going to want to go back to your file explorer and you want to look for rs underscore asio dot ini. So go ahead and look for it in here. And it should be one of the files that you copied over. Right click and click edit and this will open a notepad window. So you want to copy this entire file right here. Go back to notepad. Highlight everything. Paste it in and save. Close that, and you should be good to go. If you experience any issues at all, just go back to that main page right here and run through this bulleted list right here to make sure you're not missing anything. And that's all.